So, differential equations again, particular solutions is find the equation of the curve that passes through the point 1, 3 and has a slope of y over x squared at the point x, y. I'm going to start off by this, by saying that we know the slope, and slope is defined as dy dx, so dy dx is equal to y over x squared. Now I want to go ahead and separate, right? Go ahead and separate. So separate variables. And if you have any questions about how I did this, I'll be glad to show you sometime. I'm just going to uh, multiply by dx, the whole thing by dx, and then I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 1 over y, and I'm going to get this, I hope. I'm going to get dy over y is equal to is equal to, I can't even see it, dx over x, right? dx over x. <clears throat> so we have the variable separated. Now, we know this is a differential equation, so I'm going to go ahead and take the antiderivative of both sides. So the first, the left-hand side is really easy. I'm looking at the right-hand side going, how the heck am I going to do that? But the, the one side is really easy. It's just ln of y, isn't it? By definition, uh, ln of absolute y by definition. This one, I can rewrite this as x to the negative 1, can't I? I'm sorry, I mean x to the negative 2. This should have been squared. So this squared here, I forgot to bring my squared along. I apologize. x to the negative 2. dx, and if I take the derivative of that, I add 1 to each, I add 1 up here, so plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1, which gives me x to the negative 1 over negative 1, which gives us, dun dun dun, which gives us negative 1 over x, I just put that back down in the denominator, plus that constant that we might have. I hope this is making perfect sense to you, right? If it's not, you can look at it this way, is equal to negative x over, I'm sorry, negative x to the negative first power. And we know that a to the negative n is the same as 1 over a to the positive n from algebra 2. So that's the rule I'm using there. So it got me to here. Now what I'm going to do is exponentiate. I'm going to exponentiate here. Expo exponentiate exponentiate there and this is going to give us absolute y is equal to e to the power of negative 1 over x plus c1 remember this is part of the exponent right all right now remember from here this freaks people out, but it's not bad. So y is equal to c times e to the negative 1 over x. That's our constant there. <clears throat> All right, so so far so good. I hope now we know we have this point. The point is 1, 3. So we have 3 is equal to c e to the negative first power. Think about this for a second. It means the same as saying this, that 3 is equal to c over e. That's negative exponent again, right? That makes it go down to the denominator. So if I'm solving for c, then I'll multiply both sides by e, and we'll get c is equal to 3e. Why am I telling you all of this? Because we have to go back to this equation up here. We have to go back to this equation right here. Hold on one second. I want to make sure that I didn't screw something up. Almost did mess that up, right? I was like, I think I'm done, but I'm not done. I have to take this and apply this to it. So this C right here is this C right here. 
So what I really have is y is equal to 3e times e to the negative 1 over x power. All right? And I think that's how I want to leave that. There's more I can do, but I don't, <laughs> I don't want to. Um, and what I could do here is I could deal with the fact that these are like bases. This is e to the first. This is e to this. And there's some work I could do, but I choose not to do that, that work. I'm going to leave it like this if you don't mind. Okay, you guys. Excellent work. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. You're... Uh, your support is really appreciated. If you're not already um, subscribed, will you please subscribe? That would really help me. Thanks, and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon.